Oh, 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 How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about an 80-year-old store owner who defended himself and his store during an apparent armed robbery. Now, this video is fantastic. You saw a little bit of it right there, where he's like, oh, he shot my arm off. That was a fantastic, it, it, it was very satisfying. Like, you ever see some of these videos on YouTube, cleaning carpets and stuff like that? Maybe it's just me. But it was probably the most satisfying video that I've seen in quite a long time on these YouTube streets. But before I go into the details, let's roll the clip. In this clip, you'll see the full uh, attempted armed robbery and you'll hear from customers of the store. What's going on with the particular area with the criminals and just the law not really being followed. After we get done watching that, I'll come back. I'll talk about what was said there. Then I'll give you the rest of my two cents and my deep detail analysis and then I wrap it on up with a nice bow on top. So without further ado, let's go ahead and roll it. A robbery suspect shot and wounded when an employee at a Norco market didn't hesitate to protect his business from a would-be crook. That robbery now under investigation. Let's go live to Gina Silva in Norco with the latest. And the age here is interesting as well. Gina. That's right, Alex Christine. I can tell you that almost everyone in this town is very proud of the way this business owner handled himself. There were four armed robbers and they were parked right here. By the time they went inside, they got the surprise of their lives. It's a shooting the bad guys never saw coming. An 80-year-old man defends his business after armed robbers storm into Norco Market and Liquor. I guess he gets what he deserves, so peace is done. Customers of this longtime Norco business have a lot to say about this armed robbery that ends with the good guy winning the battle. The criminals are in control of everything right now, and the fact that he they turned around and showed him what for, I think it's amazing. Everybody's brazen and thinks that they are owed everything and that they could do whatever they want, and it's not right to do that to people. More businesses should be armed like that and defend their businesses like that. The shooting happened on Sunday at 2.47 a.m. in the 800 block of 6th Street. <laughs> The owner was standing right here watching all of the action on the security camera. As soon as he saw one of those guys pull the mask over his face, he knew trouble was headed his way. He just prepared himself. He prepared himself and he stood right here and he just aimed. He aimed and shot. The owner shot his rifle and hit the robber in the arm. Not a surprise to some customers. You know, I'm not for gun violence, but uh, it, he wasn't the one getting it. He wasn't the one doing the violence. The people that came in were the ones doing the violence. And that's what we need to understand in our society. When people are doing violence against us, we have the right to protect ourselves. I've seen him a couple of times while I've been here, and honestly, I can kind of expect that from him. He seems like a pretty bad old man. All right, so you saw that, you heard that. Now, hey, shout out, bravo. Congratulations to the store owner, 80 years old, still whipping the rifle out, hitting him, boom. And it was a moderate distance. Like, it wasn't like a football field away, but it was a moderate distance. He's behind the actual counter, and then the guy's right in front. He was already ready. Like, the guy who came in with the rifle, he thought he might have had a drop on the store owner, but it was the other way around because the store owner is watching the security footage. It's like, okay, boom. He probably got a big smile. All right, it's time to go get into action. Hit him one time, bang. Now, there was no exchange of fire. The guy just ran away, got in the car, and they're looking like, you know, uh, a whole clown car, um, freaking frack, thing one, thing two, dumb and dumber. It was a whole big, ridiculous debacle of a quote-unquote escape. And, of course, all the guys have been arrested. Well, three guys are in jail, and one guy, the guy who got his quote-unquote arm shot off, he's in the hospital, and once he's released from the hospital, he will be arrested, obviously. So he'll be in jail as well. And I think that they'll stay in jail. They do have bond, but it's $500,000 each. 
So, I mean, half a million dollar bond or bail, I think even what 20% of that would be 100,000, 10%, 50,000. So they probably can't pony up that money. They're probably going to be in jail and they won't come home anytime soon, or at least they shouldn't. This is part of the problem with California. They soft on crime, letting guys like this pretty much run the streets. And by the way, this was in Norco. And if you don't know about California, that's like what, what they call that, the Inland Empire. So it's not Los Angeles, but it's not far away. It's by San Bernardino, which is right like over, I guess what they call that, the desert, high desert. I don't know about my California terms. Y'all please pardon me. But it's closer to Nevada than it is to like downtown L.A. And I think everybody that was involved was from L.A. And one guy was from Vegas, which probably means he's from L.A. originally and moved to Vegas. Um, you know, you know, the typical ages, 18, 19, 20, 21. OK, that's that's what's going on there. So, yeah, shout out to my man for hitting these guys at a distance. Now, unfortunately, kind of a little bit of bad news, but some good news in there as well. The store owner being 80 years old did have a heart attack right after this whole thing happened because I mean, yeah, you're able to defend yourself. Yeah. You might like being able to defend yourself, but you still had to shoot somebody. It's stressful. You got a lot of stuff going on. So he did have a heart attack, but the man is doing much better. And I think the news out there said that they'd be able to interview him pretty soon and they'll be able to get his side of the story. But people came to the store from all over trying to, you know, go in there, maybe take pictures with the man, congratulate him, and just share how much they appreciate what he did because this is what it's going to take. Now, I'm not advocating for violence. I'm advocating for you as a regular civilian, a citizen, whoever you are, to defend yourself when someone aggresses upon you. You're in there minding your own business. It's 2 something in the morning. You are behind the store that you own, you're a small business owner, 80 years old, still working. Why should anybody come in there and think they have the right to pull a gun on you and rob you? I mean, that's just something that you shouldn't do. I don't, it doesn't even really matter who you are, what race you are, how old you are. It doesn't matter. That right there is not right. These men were violating this man's right to just exist as a human being in America and in the world without being aggressed upon by guns, talking about give me your money, all this and that and the third. So they were wrong to aggress upon him. He was 100% in the right to defend himself. Guys like this should be celebrated, and we need to have more stuff like it because you can call the police after a robbery, and that's fine. I'm not saying you shouldn't call the police, of course. Call the police. Even in that situation, you want to call the police and so they can arrest the guys and get the footage and get them locked up, hopefully get them a long penitentiary sentence, not these little slaps in the wrist like they do in a lot of these big liberal cities, but I'm getting triggered. Anyway, the point is you want to involve the police, but they can't be your only line of defense. You got to be able to have defense for yourself. So I advocate for gun ownership, legal gun ownership. And that's, I'm surprised in California you're able to have a rifle. I, I was hearing that the store owner had a shotgun it kind of sounded like a shotgun over the audio that I played, but it said it was a rifle. So either way it goes, whatever he had was very useful in that particular moment. And again, everyone has been arrested. Let's hope that they stay in a penitentiary and don't get a slap on the wrist. Don't get a reduced charge or sentence or anything like that. And let's not, let's, let's not have this guy with his arm dangling like a you know a pack of oodles and noodles that's halfway wet let's not have this guy try and sue the store owner talking about oh you damaged my arm well hey your arm be okay if you didn't come in here trying to rob me okay you got a whole ski mask on and a gun pointed at me well you, you pretty much have forfeited the right to use that particular arm okay <laughs> i mean it, it is what it is that's your fault don't go trying to rob people and maybe you won't get injured maybe you won't get to the point where you almost lose your life but I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? How do you feel about this situation with Paul Paul, 80 years old, uh, defending himself and his store with his gun? Shouldn't that be how we all all in America? I'm not saying we should all just be shoot him up, bang, bang. I'm saying only when necessary. You're faced with a threat. They have a gun. You're able to get the drop, whatever it is. Okay, boom. You defend yourself. That's That's all I'm for. Like me, I'm no big, super tough guy, nothing like that. But 
if you're aggressive upon me, then all bets are off at that point. Okay, ain't no such thing as a fair fight and equal force. No, you you, you come at me, then now you, you, you're you going to have to deal with the consequences. All right? That right there was a perfect example of how to defend yourself. Okay? And the age doesn't matter. You could be however old you are. If you're able to still walk and talk, you can go to the gun range. You can get a little bit of practice. And even if you can't, a rifle, in my opinion, is probably one of the best weapons for uh, defense. It's not good for carrying around, obviously, but if you're in a situation like that, you're in a store, you're behind the counter, a rifle is great. You got three points of contact, typically, your cheek, your shoulder, and then under the actual barrel, you can hit somebody with pretty good accuracy. And you don't need to have a bunch of shots rang out uh, 30, 40 rounds. The store owner hit him one time, bang. It reminds me of that situation in the church in Texas where this nut job came in there trying to shoot it up. And as soon as he started to try and shoot people, a uh, trained marksman hit him from a long distance with a handgun. And it was also like that in, what was that, uh, um, outside of Indianapolis, Indiana, at that mall where this man started shooting at the food court. And then this uh, 22-year-old who learned, ironically enough, from his paw paw how to shoot, hit him with a handgun from like 40 yards away. Which is crazy. Like, I saw this picture. If I can find it, I'll link to it. But but the distance that he hit him from was just outstanding. And, and to wrap it on up, my point is be trained, be safe, defend yourself. Don't go starting something because you may not win that particular battle. But whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.